Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back. Welcome to Pang Down Wow Content's Contagious. I'm your host Ryan Pang, and I'm with AD Photography. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's a photographer around Newquay, Falmouth, Plymouth, usually. And yeah, his link will be in the description. So if you want to get a good photo, he's your guy. Okay. So today we're going to go to uh, what was it? The eighth best Cornish pasty in the list I've been looking at. It's called Morris Pasty, and from the look at it, it looked insane. I mean, I got a large, you got a medium, and if we just quickly compared the size of it, you can see crazy. It's bigger, That's and it's bonkers. literally the size of my head. So yeah, and yeah, it looked really good. Looked really good, and yeah, and you can tell if it's Cornish Pasty, where Cornish Pasty usually have the crimp on the side, while a Devon shirt, so Devon, uh, we have it on top. So yeah, Cornish Pasty on the side. And in Cornish language, these are known as Oggies. So, so yeah. back in the day in the mine shaft, they'd shout Oggy, 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 and someone would shout Oi, Oi, Oi. Yes, mate, that was sick. <laughs> right, let's try out on these uh, good looking pasties. Let's rate them. Alright. Mmm. 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 I think this pasty is actually really, really good. Oh, man. I mean, look how much meat in this. It's just filled with meat and potato and well mixed, well seasoned. And it's just, mmm. Mm. The pastry itself, so nourishable. Mm. Mm. And there's a bit moist. <laughs> it's so soft. The pastry is so soft. It falls apart in your mouth. Mm. The texture is amazing. Shout out to the owner. He's really shy, but he's really cool, and he's really helpful for us to select which one is the best. If you're a new heat, check it out. The address will be in the link description. So yeah, uh, if you want to follow me and do your own review on Pasty, um, I'll make a list of what well, all the video will have the description of where it is. So yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god, this Lord. bangs so mm. much. This is so good. Mmm. Oh my god, meaty, oh it's actually perfect, like, Austin love his, how you say, his um, medium heat pasty, this one, it's the only one that so far I like it and it's like the best temperature, not too hot, not too middle, just in between that, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Like I said before. I love pasties, you can just chow down on, straight out of the bag. Um, this is no exception. This is amazing. And it's blended really well mm. with the veg, the potato, the steak. Amazing. Yeah, and the meat. Because when you eat pasta, yeah, there's usually four ingredients that is coming up. Your beef, uh, which is like a cheap beef, because back then it's the miners, so they only use the cheap cut. Your potato, your swede, and the pastry, and all of them take the factors. The potato, the veg, it's not it's not mushy. It's like has a bite to it, and it's actually on point. The meat, it's not mushy. It's not squidgy. It has a texture, and yeah, it's not like uh, what is it? Minced meat, mushed up type of rubbish. The stuff you get in like a um, what is it? Cottage pie. Mm. So yeah, well happy with this. Okay. Oh, you finished already. Literally like three minutes, devoured it. <laughs> so it must be that good. <laughs> right, so we move on to the, oh, the lamb and mint pasty. When I first looked at it and I saw it in the menu, I was like, oh, the lamb and mint look insane. I never had a pasty like that. And it's like really appetizing. I mean, so yeah, the lamb, lamb and mint. mint is always a, is a banger. Okay, so I should have this in half. You can do, it's up to you bro. Alright, so, for the views, I'll hold it upside down, alright. Oh, you didn't even get any meat. I didn't get any meat, it's cool. That's good, that's good. There you go. Thanks brother. <laughs> alright, from the first look of it, it has all your veg on it. Just want to taste this uh, mint sauce, but look how flaky, flaky, flaky the pastry is. You can smell like, that mint sauce, brother. Oh. oh, it's like I'm having a what is it? A roast dinner. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. All right. 
Oh. Mm. The mint is so overpowering this. I mean, I still like it, yeah, but I think the guy went too ham on the past on the lamb. But when I eat this, I get like a how you say a kebab vibe. You know, when you have the shish kebab when the flame up on the grill. Just kinda like resemble that. And I think it's actually very good. I mean, you can see he can't talk because it's so good. <laughs> 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 mm. I was so hungry yeah. before we did this video that it's just like this food. I'm just like I'm, I'm just in my heaven right now, and it's Morris patties as well, and it's so good. So, mm. and the thing is, yeah, this is easy to eat. Like, I mean it. I didn't even drink my water because it's just so <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's so moist, and it's true. It's true. He hates how much I say the word moist, but it's actually like so malnourished. It oh does the job does the job this is a how you help how all the corners say bloody handsome <laughs> or a proper job <laughs> so now we're moving on to the steak and stilton pasty and uh, it just looks so good i mean you can really see the three holes of happiness <laughs> that's what three holes mean right happiness <laughs> yeah. all right so let's just quickly crumble this up oh my god that went everywhere. Oh, Cheers, bro. Always does. Always. That was like the raisins. <laughs> Woo! You can smell the stilt in oh, that. That's a strong this cheese. This smells bro. amazing. <laughs> Sorry for getting on your shoes, bro. Oh, babe. <laughs> I got on your shoes. That's cool, bro. It's fine. All right, so let's chow down these. Mmm. 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 So. I'm a sucker for blue cheese, especially Stilton. And like, I understand if you don't like this. I think it's really good. You like your Stilton as well. So from two cheese, cheese from two cheesy people, <laughs> this is amazing. Like, I don't think I can eat a whole one to myself because um, it can be a bit sickly if you're not a fan of it. Bit overpowering. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, if you're a big cheese head like us. Then it's just know, one for you. Yeah, man. but yeah, it's quite overpacked. Even half of it is quite like. I oh, know, I oh, know. So what we forgot to do yeah was to rate in all the pasty that we had so far. So from the original pasty, that is actually amazing. I, I, that would say it could be the best one. Okay. Is it the champion? Who knows? Just wait until the end of the video and we give our verdict. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I'll probably give this like uh, joke aside. I'll probably give this like a what? Uh, give the original pasty a what? Eight, nine, just because compared to the first one that we did, it was really good. I mean, that and this one is on par. It's hard to tell which one's better. Okay. So at the moment, it's those two in my head as the top so far. Would you agree? Oh yeah, nine and a half, nine and a mm -hmm. half for the first pasty was, Yeah, it had everything that you needed the pasty to be. And this one was perfect as well, so that's good. The lamb past, lamb and mint pasty, it was good, it was good, don't get me wrong. But it was so strong on the mint that I'll have to drop it down to a seven, seven, maybe 6.5, but it was quite minty, which is ruined the flavor of the true lamb and the veg around it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now this Stilton one, I enjoy it. I, I absolutely love it. Um, yes, but it can be quite sickly. So with that being said, yeah, I'll say 6.5 to 7.5 in between. So you can give it a seven. What's your verdict? <laughs> the mint one, I would give a six, just because I felt the mint was too overpowering. So it took away the uh, taste of the other spices and herbs and then something goes into making a pasty. Hmm. The Stilton, I would give um, eight and a half. Yeah, was that fair? Yeah, I think that's fair. All right. Now we got the mother clucking pasty, chicken pasty, chicken. <laughs> All right, and you can take, you can see the crust on it is ready to be devoured. All right, I'm gonna do another cross section. Oh, look at that, bro. That's like chicken galore. I get that. Oh, you still got loads of yeah, meat. Cheers, bro. I know, right? 
I, I, in case you guys didn't realize, all these pasties are filled up to a brim. They're stacked. Yeah. They? they look like Macho Man after <laughs> <laughs> Macho Man going crazy. Oh, or like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Randy Savage. Oh, it looked like uh, Hulk Hogan after he just left Andre the Giant in WrestleMania. One, no, one, isn't it? Was it first WrestleMania? WrestleMania 4. WrestleMania 3. We're, so, we're not wrestling fans, really. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're posers, really. <laughs> this is pretty much the Brock Lesnar of Cornish pasty with the filling being stack. Let's go for it. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Chicken pie. Mmm. So good. It's leaking it, the potatoes perfect. Like I said, I hate when he eat Cornish patty when it's all when the veg is mushy. <laughs> By the way, we need to stop saying Cornish pasty because we're in Cornwall, so this is just a pasty to us. If we went to Devon, then yeah, we call it Cornish pasty. <laughs> but I really enjoy this. The meat the chicken meat is so big. I mean I mean, this doesn't prove it, but <laughs> you can see it. So, do you call Chinese food Chinese? Like you're saying about pasties, like being using yeah. pasty. Or I call Chinese food food. Food, yeah, 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 yeah. I would, I've always wondered that. Mm. Then, uh, but however, I call a chicken tikka masala British food. <laughs> <laughs> so, why versa? I always wondered the British favourite sausage roll. Boom. The sausage roll that went viral because sausage roll was like, oh, vegan sausage roll shouldn't be a thing. Because <laughs> of Piers Morgan. <laughs> I think a vegan sausage roll, a normal sausage roll is sausage roll. How, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. So look at this sausage roll. And uh, yeah, let's see how good this is. Okay, so as you can see compared, this sausage roll is stack. All right. Wow. It's, there you go. All right. All right. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, so this looks really good. I'm gonna try and not make eye contact as I eat this. It's like, is that? <laughs> <laughs> fake taxi. Is this fake taxi? Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't want to say it because it sounds filthy, but that's a thick bit of sausage. Mmm. Like, my whole mouth is just filled with sausage. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't say these things without it sounding so dirty, but it's so true. Hashtag mouthful of meat. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. <laughs> Join the meat gang, guys. <laughs> meat. <laughs> this is OnlyFans, but two guys sitting in a car eating sausage rolls. <laughs> and making eye contact to the camera. <laughs> mm, so that sausage roll bangs. Um, we forgot to give the rating of the chicken pasty. And I realised this is quite a bad habit. Anytime he has a bite for food, yeah, I'm always asking a question. So Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so I usually just wait for him to take a chicken bite. Chicken pasty was. <laughs> I'll give chicken pasty a solid 10. It was your favourite. Mm. I actually, I, I, I get where you're coming from. The meat was chunky. Everything was paying. Um, I'll say it is a eight, just because there's more to come. We got seven more pasty shops to go to, and not just saying that it is good. It is really good. And so so far, the two best thing I like from this pasty shop, from Moorish Pasty, uh, link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, they the two best thing would be the normal pasty and the uh, chicken pasty. Uh, but if you're a uh, cheese lover, go for the uh, steak in Stilton. Okay, and now, so di uh, oh, and forgot before we uh, move on to the next uh, dish, sausage roll, give it a solid seven or eight. All right. Yeah, it's eight for me as well. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I want it to be like a thick, fat one with some like uh, gur or not gherkin, some pickle or something like you know, like a proper bakery. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not slating this sausage roll. Sausage roll is good, crumbly and everything like that. And really filled with meat, but there's there's always a better sausage roll, and hopefully you find the perfect sausage roll. Okay, so because so far we found almost the perfect pasty, almost the perfect chicken pie. So while the others, we still looking. I mean, we found the perfect Scotch head if you checked the video before. 
I think that's why I rated the uh, the chicken pasty quite high because I love chicken. I love chicken pies, and that was like a chicken pie in a pasty for me. That's a win-win. All okay, so this is going to get messy. This is the Lotus Biscoff shortbread. It's it's melted a bit. It melted in the cast because we were trying to find decent. It's like so spot. hot today as well. So all right, this is going to be messy, bro. I, I don't know how I can eat this. I mean, I mean, I, I can't really show the justice of this. Right. Just look how, look how moist it is. <laughs> oh, man. Tuck in, bro. It's sick. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Isn't it good? Mm. Oh, dude, you're going to give me the best. Cheers, bro. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. There's some tissue. Cheers, bro. Thank you. I know, I know. I mean... Yeah, this is, uh, and the other side as well. Oh, okay, okay, right, this is, yeah, this is recording as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just take a bite and we just, um... I'm just, um, yeah, I need a, go for the... You don't mind. No, I don't mind, there's, there's no gone issue. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Oh my god. If you can see the mess downstairs, crazy. Mm. Mm. All right, we would like to finish eating this, yeah, but it melted everything. Overall, this pasty, I mean, this bakery, Morris Pasty, bakery, is it Morris Pasty? Morris Pasty is new key, yeah. Yeah, insane, really happy with it. You can tell, you can tell by our smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, it bangs. It, it bangs. Uh, dare I say it? Is it the Ch UK best? Well, it's up there. It's up there. At the moment, it's joint between that and something else. So, yeah. Uh, so, hopefully, by the end of the series, you know which one is the best. And that Bistoff pudding thingy majiggy that we just ate, that super that slime. sloppy mess that was yep. melted. That yeah. hot mess. Uh, <laughs> just like us, we're, we're, we're hot messes. <laughs> it's really good. Um, obviously, it was in the bag with the pasty because we just put it there because we didn't have extra hands because we were recording it. it. It was delightful. It melts in your mouth. It's perfect. And it wasn't too sickly. That's the thing. And it's, yeah. it's, it's even better when it's dry. Mm. When, it's, when it's not melted, sorry. So, um, Morris Pasties, smash it out of the park. If you're in Newquay, ever in Newquay, Morris Pasties, you would not be disappointed. 100%. Like, when we was there, yeah, the queue was massive, yeah. But then we walked past this other pasty shop, and we were like, what is this pasty? I don't even know what it's called. It's called Cornish Pasties. Every time when I say Cornish Pasty as a uh, title, you avoid it. That's where you catch all these tourist people go into, or people that don't know anything Cornish Pasty. Only the, only the true Cornish Pasty fans, yeah, oh, sorry pasty fans like us the pasty eater taster uh youtuber yeah. <laughs> pasty <laughs> taster eater youtuber we're mc not. ryan in the house hashtag pandemic for life uh, <laughs> and go follow him go subscribe thank you yeah yeah um yeah because these pa these videos not cheap i spend loads of money on there and yeah <laughs> last week was it 75 85, 85. almost 100 but yeah didn't expect to spend that much, and uh, yeah. So um, before we go, I'll give this pace, this bakery, a, a what, an eight or nine, because it's almost that everything is almost on point. I think we should try more dessert next time, but nonetheless, it's really good. Anything you want to say? I'm going for a nine and a half, nine, nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, almost ten. I think the only thing that let it down was the mint was well overpowering. That's it. That's but it. But it would have been a straight ten if if that mint was just a little bit there then it would have been a straight 10 all day long. Mm. But yeah, uh, make sure to follow him on Instagram, support AD, Austin Daddy, and the photographer, the man, the myth, the legend, Matt Carra. He's trying Ke to be... Uh, Carey. Ke <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh. Matt Carey, a.k.a. Jim Carrey's sister. No, sorry. <laughs> Jay, uh, <laughs> Jim Carrey and Mariah brother. Carey's my sister oh. but she doesn't know that yet she shows me a lot of money <laughs> but yeah um, if you enjoyed the video give it a like subscribe if you haven't done so and if you're a new viewer thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in a bit peace today we went to the 8th best Cornish pasty Morris pasty Darren Newkey it was 
up there. It was an eight, nine, ten. How do you want to rate? I rate as a nine. Could be up there, but the series is still young, so bear with me. <laughs> However, um, if you're ever a new kid, go down Morris Passy and you can decide for yourself which one's the best Morris Passy. I am Pang from Pang Dama, aka Ryan Pang, aka the Passy Review. And um, today we just went to Nuki and it was insane. And um, was that the best passes that ever were, that ever was, ever? <laughs> Shout out to Brett Hart <laughs> and Natalia Hart. Yeah, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.